Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, in this video, we want to talk about a return. So what is a return? A simple definition is given for the return. Return means the compensation received for the investment. Return simply means the compensation received for the investment. It means when someone wants to make investment. It means when the investors want to make investment in a company or an organization. They need, see, they need some compensation to be received from the company side. That compensation, which the investor expect from the company or because of their investment, that can be called as well as return. So any expectation that you have because of your investment, so that can be called as return, right? It is the reward, or also we can say, it is the reward that you have to receive because of your investment. When owner of the business provide capital to the business, on return, they need some reward. On return, they need some compensation. They expect something from the business. So that expectation of return or that expectation of, we can say, reward or the expectation of income from the business is called what? Return, right? So return simply means the profit. Anything that you expect from the business for against the money which you have provided or for compensation of the money that you have provided is called what? Return. Basically, when investors invest in the business, they expect two types of two types of income. How many types of income? They expect two types of income from the business. One type of ex income is called current income. Also, we can call it regular income. And the other type of income which they expect from the business it's called price change. Also, we can call it what? Capital gain. What do you mean by current income? Let us say, for example, Ahmad has invested in Tuta company, right? So he expect some kinds of dividend or some kind of kinds of income at the end of each year. So he expect to receive some sort of income at the end of each year. That is called current income. Or we can say the income which you receive regularly from the business at the end of each year or during the year is called current income. But on the other side, Ahmad may expect some other sort of income from the business that is called price change. Also, we can call capital gain. What do you mean by this one? He expects that when at the end, when I want to sell the share of the business in the market, so it also should be possible to sell it for more than what I have purchased. For example, I have purchased the share of ABC company. During there, I have received something from this business. This is called current income. But at the end, I have sold for more than what I have purchased. So that is called price change. Also, we can call it capital gain, right? For example, previously, I have purchased something for 10, but now I have sold it, for example, for 15, right? So this change of five in the price of the security or in the price of the product it's called price chain. Also, we can call it what? Capital gain. Investor basically expect both of this one while making the investment. So current income he expect at the during the year or at the end of the year. And price change he needs or capital gain he needs when they were or when he or she sell their investment at the end of the project. So this Current income plus price change is called total income. It's called what? Total income. So the total income that investor expect from the business is called current income, price what? Plus price change or capital gain, right? The next small topic is this one, rate of return. What is rate of return? Rate of return simply can be find out in this way, right? Rate of return, this is a formula. This is one of the formulas. Rate of return is equal to total return divided by beginning price multiplied to 100. This can be a good formula, right? Total return of the business, whatever is the total return. So this is the total return. Whatever is the total return of the business, total return divided by beginning price. Beginning price means how much you have purchased. Multiply to 100, you can find the rate of return, right? Rate of return means return on the investment. How much is your return on the investment? Or otherwise, in a set of this formula, you can go for the second formula. So this is also good. R means return. Return is equal to D plus PE minus PB divided by PB multiplied to 100. D can be dividend. D is, in this case, dividend. But sometimes if it is, if, if you purchase the 
debt security and instead of dividend you may have interest if you have invested in the share you may have received you may receive dividend if you have invested in the bonds you may receive interest so that is that one plus pe price at the end how much was price at the end it means how much you sold it at the end minus pb how much was price at the beginning price at the end and b price at the beginning divided by price at the beginning multiplied to 100 you can get the rate of return right let me give a simple example in order to calculate the rate of return right find out the rate of return for this one ahmad bought a share of a company for 140 ahmad purchased for how much for 140 from the market on 1 6 2012 the company paid a dividend of 8 per share company paid how much dividend 8 per share later ahmad sold the share for 160 on 1 6 2013 find out rate of return first of all you can find out the total return how much is the total return in this case total return is equal to as i said before total return is equal to the current income plus price change right how much is current income? This is called current income. Current income is 8, right? 8, 8 plus. Plus how much? If you remember the formula, price change. How you can find the price change? Price at the end minus price at the beginning. Price at the end is how much here? Price at the end is 160. Minus, sorry, 160. Minus price at the beginning. Price at the beginning was equal to how much? 100 foot, right? So two, you can find out total return in this way, right? How we can find out? It is equal to now eight plus 160 minus 140 became 20, right? If you add this two, you get equal to 20. So my total return is equal to how much? 20. Now you can find out rate of return, right? Rate of return. Rate of return. Rate of return is equal to you can find out from the formula so total return divided by beginning price multiplied to 100 total return is equal to how much 28 divided by beginning price how much was beginning price beginning price was 140 then multiply to 100 right if you multiply to 100 uh 100 percentage right then equal you get equal to multiply to 100 there Multiply to 100, you get equal to this much 20 percentage. And this is what? Basically percent, percentage. So in this case, we made the return of equal to how many percentage? 20 percentage. Or otherwise, you can use from this formula. How you can use from this formula? We can, that is unit frame. So return is equal to, rate of, return is equal to D. D, D is equal to how many? D is equal to 8. 8. Basically, uh, so take it in the bracket. Bracket, eight plus beginning price, price at the end minus price at the beginning. Price at the end is 160 minus price at the beginning is 140, right? 140. Then bracket close, divided by, divided by how much? Divided by price at the beginning. Price at the beginning is 140, right? Then you can multiply it to 100. If you multiply to 100, again you get 20, right? So provide the percentage sign here. 20 percentage, then again 20. So either you can use from this formula or the above formula. So you can find out the rate of return. Rate of return in this security is how many percentage? 20. It means I have made a return of 20 percentage on my investment in this security.